Hey Amazon seller, I am also an Amazon seller, but I am a very very small fish. Let's see exactly how much money do I make. Dashboard, let's go and check it out. So I only make about $4,000 in profit in one month in the last 30 days, right? And if we look at it, I do have a few losers which are losing me money. So unfortunately, this one has been losing me money because I've been spending a lot of money on PPC. So it ate up all my margins, unfortunately. My favorite product stopped selling. Um, probably have a competitor out. So it's been lower and lower and slower. And um, there's many refunds that come in that are also eating up all my profits you see there is so many refunds anyway just wanted to say that i am a very small fish and you are probably either a small fish or a big fish or a medium fish <laughs> so what am i doing here why am i talking to you well i am the founder of amz Peng, and 98 of percent of my time goes to developing the software for amazon sellers and I do not currently focus that much on my Amazon sales. That's why they are a little bit flatlining. If you see the trends for the all time, I used to, when I started, it go, went up, 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 up. December came the Christmas, then boom. And then see, it still kept growing comparing to the last year. But in the last Christmas time, just because I, I basically started AMZ Ping just about here. I did nothing at all for, in my business. So the business started dropping, dropping and going flatlining. So I do need to do a lot of work there, just I don't have the time to do it. <laughs> My focus is AMZ Ping. AMZ Ping is a very cool app that actually tells you interesting things about your business. For example, it can tell you what value of all your products are in the warehouse at the moment. For example, I have that many units and that many different products. They're all private label products. And I have paid $56,000 to acquire those from China. That includes the shipping, inspection, and import taxes. So now, if I sell all of those units, this is the profit that I should expect to get. In reality, still $100,000 payout is going to come in. So I know that I will have that much cash still coming out. Uh, from Amazon to me so that I can plan my um, e my uh, cash flow a little better. There are many fun and interesting things. In inventory, you know, if you run out of some item, it could help you very nicely to, to decide how many items to order, you know, so it would show you how many has been selling. For example, if I will look at United States and let's say we're looking at this fish, See, it says that in two months, I have to already reorder. So it will run out in two months, in fact. And it's orange color. That means I should reorder now. And it helps you to tell how many units to reorder. For example, how many units to reorder here. Okay, so I will probably want to not pay the long-term storage fee. So only three regular months. And I know high season coming is for my product. There will be one high season in those. So four months of stock I want to have. And this is exactly how many units I should order. There are some details that tells you exactly how it calculated this number. Here I could see all my previous sales. So in the first year, that's how it went. In the second year and in the third year. So I can see that my biggest months are in June and July. That's a seasonal product for the summer. And also a lot of sales are coming in December. So these three are my high season months. Now when the app is estimating how long it's going to last, it actually looks at whether the high season is coming. For example, June next month is a high season, right? So it does look that it was a high season in the past and it's estimating more units than it is selling right now in May, right? So June and July is gonna be more, so it knows that it needs to account for that seasonality. That's why it will recommend you a higher number here than it usually would. So it's really, really nice um, way to decide how many units to order. And many other things, basically. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. See my little face over here? 
just saying hi. If you want, you can also visit the blog. On the blog, I have some fun articles that I wrote. For example, this 15,000 word article, which is how I ship my Amazon products by sea. It's my personal story, how I shipped my products. If you're lazy to read it, you can just watch a little bit of video, how I chat it, and look, you will get much, much, a long, long explanation, all the whole story with a little bit of joking and things like that. And you're probably going to be curious, why is it so long? Well, because I wanted to cover many other things, right? Look, I had six more days until planned arrival date. So it was plenty of time to sail slowly and peacefully without flipping over, just like that. <laughs> I did not pay for the cargo insurance, so any of these would be pretty sad for me. Look what could have happened if I suddenly just, you know, it wouldn't work out with my cargo. <laughs> there you go. If you're worried about accidents or shipment values high, you may want to opt in for cargo insurance, blah, blah, blah. Many, many interesting things about sea shipping, for example. So I really like to write, see my face again here. Uh, I really like to write long, long articles. And um, I encourage you to come visit my blog, which is amzpings forward slash blog. And you will find some nice articles here. In addition, I have this... Um, most popular page on the website, which is the big, big list of all the Amazon FBA software and tools. So you could scroll here and see all the suggestions and my little reviews. And I write really candidly, just openly, uh, you know, for example, on this website, you can choose a YouTuber to create a video about your product. I don't say it in a formal way, you know, YouTube availability, or whatever, <laughs> you know, fancy words, which I don't even know how to talk that way. Basically, I just say it like it is. Very simple words, very simple language. So it's easy to read for you. And you can see from my little smiley faces here whether I liked it or I didn't. There you go. So I hope to see you sometime again somewhere around the internet.